Hello, uh, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to remote method invocation. It's actually a nice way for uh, to implement the remote procedure call in Java. So I will start with a Maven project called RMI Hello, not Hell, but Hello. And um, it will comprise a client part, server part, part and um, an interface. So I would like to start with Let's start with the interface, of course. We need at least an interface. I will call that hello service. And this is an interface. And the interface has to extend um, remote. And we can implement the business method, which will return a string. And has to work, uh, has to throw a remote exception. So this is absolutely necessary. So now we can already implement the client. The client. And the client will have to look up the implementation and we will have to use an um, URI with, which, which starts with a remote method invocation, localhost, port number, let's say 5099 and the name is hello. So the name is important. We will have to register the servant under this name and we have to throw some exceptions. This is a really old API, so there are lots of checked exceptions to handle. And I would like to get back the hello service and of course cast that. And I would like to print it out, service echo, hey server, and just let's call that service. So the client is ready to go. So we, what we need is the server. I call it hello servant, it's the server part. It has to extend unicast, unicast remote object It's like Unicast remote object is like um, server side singleton and has to implement the interface. Hello service. So now we have to implement the method and the um, constructor. As you can see, the constructor has to throw the remote exception, and the reason for that is the super constructor throws it as well. So let's implement the method. Uh, return from server input. So our servant is ready to go. What we need now is the server. So let's call that application server. Common practice to build your own application server. So um, and here there is one factory class called um, locate registry and with that you can create a registry on the fly and the pod number is f have, has to match 5099. We have to throw some exception, of course. And now we can register our servant under the hello name and we have to construct a servant here. So uh, with the modern JDKs, we don't have to create the uh, RMI stops. They will be create, created on the fly for you. So I will just start the server. And uh, as you can see, it blocks. And then attempt to start a client. And uh, I'm exp yeah, and as you already saw, it works. So the client connects to the server. And you see from server, hey server, what's also interesting if we will print out the stop service get name, just repeat it from the client side. You will see that it's actually not our implementation rather than a proxy. So um, JDK created a proxy on the fly for us. So um, thank you for watching. Enjoy remote procedure call with remote method invocation and see you one of the co upcoming conferences, workshops or even AirHacks and soon and or even AirHacks.io. So thank you. Bye.